But to move on to the co-main event of the evening, we got a featherweight matchup, which I'm actually very excited to watch, which is between Arnold Allen going up against Sadiq Youssef, which sees Arnold Allen coming in at 16-1 and one and coming in as the plus-115 underdog, and then Sadiq Youssef, who is 11-1, coming in as the minus-135 favorite. What do you think? Yeah, man, this is my favorite fight on the card. Uh, two young, up-and-coming, explosive fighters, both riding impressive win streaks. Arnold Allen, a nine-fight win streak. Sadiq Youssef, a six-fight win streak. This is a tough fight to pick and may have been the toughest fight for me to pick because of how impressive these two guys are. Allen has a better resume on paper, but Yusef's win versus Andre Feely really put him on the map, gave you a different impression of this young fighter. The way I see the fight is that these guys are going to both try to set the pace. I expect a lot of leg kicks and calf kicks from Allen to keep uh, Yusef at distance where Allen is better on the ground, but Yusef is so strong. His takedown defense is so good, and it's continuing to improve each fight. It's going to be hard for Allen to get him to the ground. Uh, if Yusef wants to win, he needs to avoid being taken down because Allen has some uh, impressive submission victories. Whereas with Allen, if he can avoid Yusef's overhand and get the fight on the ground, then it's his fight. Uh, I've bounced back and forth with this one, and I'm still bouncing back and forth with this one. Because I like <laughs> these fighters a lot, and I try to remove my personal feelings for these fighters out when I'm trying to pick these fights. At this moment, and this might change by Friday, I'm going with Allen by decision. But I would not be surprised if Yusef, who is trying to be the fourth Nigerian uh, or fourth African uh, born champion in the UFC history, I feel like he could just knock Allen out first round, just walk it off. But I'm going right now, Allen, by decision. I don't feel comfortable with that pick. Anybody who's listening to this, do not bet based off of this opinion. Yeah, I'm, just like you said, this is my favorite fight that going into going into the car. And like you said, Sadiq Yusuf is part of the new breed of Nigerian fighters. Uh, Coming in, they're all about the the strike in, and then kind of like the all round game. Uh, he needs to work on his takedown defense, but from what I've heard, it's it's getting better little by little, like in mm -hmm. camp. Then you got Ar Arnold Allen, who is a grappler, uh, who specializes in take takedowns, and then uh, working on uh, working on the ground. He's no slouch, uh, like striking, but that's not his forte. His forte is getting you to the ground and then push, pushing the pace there. Allen is on a nine-plate winning streak, and then seven of those are on the UFC. So he's coming in kind of hot. And then Yusuf, uh, like, like he's learned from the guys that, uh, like coming before him. He has said, like, he's watched Nagano, he's watched Adesana, he's watched Usman. He tries to learn from them and then picks stuff on that and then use that in his game, but then stay true to himself. He he hasn't taken anybody down. That's not his thing. He's not going to be the guy to uh, try and go down and mm -hmm. ground and pound. He's strictly straight up going to stand there with you and trade. That's going to be Arnold Allen's uh, path of victory. He's going to want to get the use up to the ground. That's his one path to victory because I feel like if he stands there and tries to trade with use up, it's going to be a long day at work. He's, and he's not, he's going to want to quit. Oh, he's the, going to go this, to sleep if he tries to trade. Because Zadik, he, he, he will put him to sleep. He, Absolutely. Like his, his hands are lethal. So I think the fight's going to come down to whether Sadiq can stuff the takedowns or not. That's going to be like the, the big key to the uh, victory for him. And I feel like he'll be able to do it enough to where he can get enough going striking wise. Cause I don't feel like uh, Allen can defend the striking that Sadiq were present towards him. Yeah. And I think he's going to have to get enough takedowns on Sadiq to get this into his warehouse. But uh, right now I got this Sadiq Yusuf by uh, third round uh, unanimous decision. 
Okay. I think I actually have him getting all three rounds. I think he's going to be too much. Like I think he's going to pour in a lot of volume on 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 his feet. And I think if he can, like I said, if he can at least step half of the takedowns, I feel like there's going to be four takedowns that Allen are going to, is going to go uh, and present towards uh, Sadiq. And I think he can stuff two of them. So if he can be limited to two takedowns on him, and if he can not be taken down and stay down in the clinch too long, I think this is an easy uh, path to victory for uh, Yusuf. Okay. I, th- listen, the, the rise of these two fighters is amazing. Um, yeah. These are two uh, future champions in this featherweight division. Uh, I hate to see either one of them get a loss because these both both these guys have not lost in the UFC. Um, yeah. And they're both studs. But like I said, man, the way you were talking, you made me want to think Yusef is going to win this fight. I just hope they both go out there, have a great time. They both walk away with fight of the night bonuses and maybe a draw. And then we can get like a potential yeah. trilogy of this. Who knows? This is a that's a fantastic fight. Yeah, that's that's all you root for is a, like a banger of a fight where Absolutely. it could go either way, and it just gets you focused on the fight and not like ah, oh, this guy's killing it. Let me go get a drink real quick because I know he's gonna win. I want to I want to be glued to my seat and knowing that if I miss something, that I can miss like the the deciding factor of this fight. Yeah. yeah, wasn't before before this fight materialized? Wasn't Yusef supposed to fight Barboza? I think in he like was December or something like that. Yeah, I think he talk, was. Talk about a slugfest! Oh my I god, know. that would have been amazing. And then Barboza has a very really nice matchup uh, that he just got scheduled for, which I'm looking forward to big time. Like we're getting to that later on yeah. uh, down the line, but it, like. That's a guy I like to watch. Yeah, I love Barbosa. 